My name is Tim Creech. I'm from Beaufort, North Carolina. Uh, I'm here today with the CarolinaSkiffOwners.com. Uh, we got a group of guys together. We come up with a flotilla of boats. So a lot of guys were interested in getting together and just hanging out. So we uh, put this little parade type thing together and uh, it came together pretty quick in about a month's time. And we got 25 or 30 boats and uh, probably 75 family members hanging out here today at Cape Lookout. I have a 218 DLV. Uh, this is my second Carolina skiff. The first one I bought was a uh, used boat that I bought from a previous owner. Uh, we liked it really well. And the wife said I could buy a new boat, so the first chance I got, we went and bought a brand new one. So we, now we got a new 218. Uh, we chose a skiff. I've liked the uh, other guys. I've had V-holes in the past, and uh, their, their ride may be a little bit better when you're going offshore, but uh, just the room is the big reason for me. There's a lot of space on a Carolina skiff. Uh, with a V-hole, anytime you walk around a console, it just seems like you're, you're walking against the edge, no room to store your rods. Uh, just no floor room at all and no space to, to stand around or no place to have other riders on the boat. Uh, the Carolina Skiff has so much room to store everything, plenty of uh, places for people to sit. You got casting decks for fishing. I mean, it's just a good all around boat. Cruised out here quite a few times and uh, the last time we were out we had a pod of dolphins, uh, probably three or four dolphins that just, just came up right beside the boat and rode with us for a pretty long ways and that was pretty exciting. Probably the best aspect of the Carolina Skiff is the roominess. Uh, like I said before, there's just so much room on the skiff. Uh, room to move around, room to fish, room to sit down and relax, whatever you want to do. When I bought the boat, I, I wanted a T-top, but I didn't get it at the time, and then I regretted it later on, so I, I removed the uh, Bimini top, and I had a custom T-top installed. Uh, I've installed rod holders all around, and uh, stereo, VHF, all these things I've added on since I bought the boat. 